Hi Bridge Church, my name is Lee and I will be leading devotional today. The reason I'm doing the devotional in my car is that God has t- taken me on a particular journey for the past few years. And it's been a journey of repentance and that's what I'm going to be speaking on um, during this devotional. God had to give me a personal revelation of where I was, not where I necessarily thought I was, but where he located me in the spirit. And God spoke these words to me um, out of Revelation um, 3, 5 and 15. And the word of the Lord reads, I know thy works, that thou art neither hot nor cold. I would that thou were hot or cold. So because, because thou art lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased in good and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable, poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed, and that thy shame and thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thy eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see, see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. God spoke those words and bearing in mind, this is a time when I was attending church on a regular basis. I was paying my tithes and offerings. I was praying and I was reading my Bible, not as frequently as I wanted to. But God spoke these words to me and he located me. These are the words that he he said to me. And a couple of things happened. One, I was quite happy. One, that God had spoken to me. Two, that I discerned his voice. There's nothing better than people that are walking with the Lord when they when he speaks and they, he, they discern his voice. And then three, most importantly, he told me what I needed to do. He told me that I needed to repent. Because repentance brings us into the kingdom of God. And that's what God has wanted from the beginning. When Jesus spoke to the disciples, he's told them to, he t- he told them to go and declare that the kingdom of God was at hand. Not necessarily church, not necessarily Christianity, but the kingdom of God. And as I went through a process of repentance, I became to I came to realise, as I always knew, that the kingdom of God is completely different. One of the things that God led me to was a place, a place of men where I could repent. I could repent of my prayerlessness. I could repent of my lack of Bible reading and I could repent of specific sins. And I declared this in front of a group of guys. And you know what? I wanted God much, much more than I wanted my reputation. I wanted God much, much more than I wanted people to see me in a particular light. Because I was hungry and thirsting after righteousness. That's all I wanted at that stage. I wanted to have that close fellowship with the Lord. As I repented, um, the Bible says... um, In James 5 and 16, confess your thoughts to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. And as I confessed and as my brothers in Christ gathered around me and we prayed, there was a real transformation. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. That's from 1 Corinthians 4 and 20. And what happened to me was quite miraculous. There was a, an insatiable di- um, appetite to read the word of God. It wasn't something I was trying to discipline myself to. I just wanted to. And God located me in the book of Jeremiah, which I was never really a great fan of reading the Old Testament. But he started to open up Jeremiah to me. My time of fellowship, my prayer life completely changed. I used to pray about material things and there's nothing wrong with that because that's what we need. The Bible tells us that. But my prayer now transformed. All I was praying was to know him so that he may so that I may decrease and he may increase. That's what my prayer life had become. I started to pray for other people with a fervency because God started to change me. And that's in the kingdom. There is a there is a dynamic change and it's an effortless change. It's a change without any striving. I also I also during this period started to get um, more revelatory dreams. I also began to get more and more encounters with the Lord, divine visitations, stuff that I used to get before when I first got saved. But by the process of time, it kind of like it ebbed and it died away. 
because I'd because I've because I've drifted away from the kingdom. And now that I'm back in the kingdom, now that I've got my dynamic relationship back with God. And one of the things that I, I started to notice also was when I started to talk about the Lord, whether it's my friends or to my mum or to my wife, I would start to cry. Because I'd seen how good he had been, how good he'd been to just gently draw me back and to pull me in to right fellowship with him. And that was only because he gave me that word in Revelations that I needed to repent. And I had to be honest with myself. I was that person in Revelations. Nothing spiritually was happening. But by the grace of God, he did what he did. So I'm thanking God for all he's done in my life. But also that if we need to get back to that place of repentance so that we can have that dynamic relationship with God, he'll do it for you because he did it for me. I hope this has been a blessing and God bless you, Bridge Church.